When are we going to realize that this removal of subsidy of a thing is not just working out? Of course, it's not working out. For crying out loud, things are stagnating in Nigeria. People are suffering. A lot of people who could afford so many things before, they could not even afford anything. Whoever is in charge of this should please help us inform the president that people are suffering. A whole lot of people now, they cannot even feed. Majority of the people that are in charge of all this economic uh, crisis, they have reached the peak of their career. Most of the things that a lot of them dreamed to, to, to have, uh, most of the things that a lot of them have, some people cannot even afford to dream to have it. To some, it's just a dream. Some cannot even afford to dream. A whole lot of people that have reached the peak of their career and they have come to a stage whereby they are in charge of many things, you understand? And their action and inaction is affecting other people, is making other people to look like they are not existing. The last population census said we are 200 million in Nigeria. How will the activity of some little group of people prevent other people over 200 million or whichever number we have, how will their activity prevent us from reaching the peak of our, peak of our career as well? We see prices of things skyrocketing every blessed day. There is no day you go to the market that you will see what you have bought the previous day, the same price. If the removal of subsidy is not working, let them return back the su subsidy and let us continue to live our life the way we have been living it before. At least if positive things cannot happen, then the little things we are managing should not be taken away from us as well. If all of this hardship is part of the budget, then they should review the budget. For crying out loud, the president should be aware of all of this. There are a whole lot of people that are going to work with the president that will discharge their duties. And if they are not discharging their duties, let them be replaced. How will price continue to skyrocket every day and people that their salary is not even enough in the first place? The salary cannot even take them for more than a week again. Things that are supposed to, 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 to happen normal is no more happening. A whole lot of people who are into business, they cannot run their business because there is no electricity. We understand that the country has been in a place of dilemma before the new government comes in. But now, what is now happening is almost a year now that the, 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 the president comes in. What is it, the positive impact that has happened in the country? At least if people cannot afford to build houses or to buy cars, at least they should be able to afford to at least breathe. If we want all our industries, our, our, our companies to function, they need lights. Ordinary light, there is no light to work, to do things. For how long are we going to sit down and wait and wait and wait? Everything going in this array. Who is going to do all of this? Who is going to fix Nigeria? We don't know. The report of everything that we have been complaining on, nothing is happening to it. Why have we been held to ransom? Why are we being held to ransom? If the president is, is claiming to be unaware of all of this, then it is not true. If, if the subsidy remover is not working, let them return back the subsidy and let us continue our life the way it has been. The refinery that are supposed to be built, what is happening to it? What level are we? Concerning the refinery, the building of the refinery, have they started building it? The subsidy that has been removed right from the day that the Mr. President has come into the office, what do they use the, the subsidy to do? At what level are they now? Have they started building the refinery or they just kept the extra money on Hoye or fell somewhere? If it is importation of high times that will 
make dollar not to continue to rise again then let us stop importing things and let us continue to make use of our own even if we are going to manufacture our own by ourselves where is the light to do it we should not import rice we should not import food we should use locally made things locally made items where is the light the industry that are going to manufacture things they need lights the little things, ordinary barbing saloon, they need lights to, do, to, to, to barb here for their customers. People are suffering. Those who have shops, the little businesses that we're supposed to embolden them to create an enabling environment for businesses to strive. People cannot do business. People cannot do business. Ordinary lights, there is no lights to work. Everybody will sit down, nothing is happening. For how long are we going to do this? At least if we want to start Yoruba, we say let us start from the little level, from this, this low level of light. We want, we want companies to function. We want industry to function. We want to be making use of our own locally made things. People need light. Mechanic, weathers, all these artisans, they need light. The furniture makers, they need light. All these little, little businesses that people do to survive, they need light to do it. People that don't have light, they want to go and buy fuel and fuel their generator. Fuel is expensive. So what is it? If, if, if nothing will be done with the removal of subsidy, let the president return back the subsidy and let us continue to buy our fuel, at least make transportation easy for people. For how long are we going to trek and trek and trek? Somebody that has no heating, how will that person have strength to, 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 to trek? At least if, if, if we don't want to go and run after secondary things or self-actualization, at least let us be able to have access to food, clothing, and shelter. People are coming to DM every day to come and beg for money. The person you are begging for money self, has no heating. Is it not somebody that heats that will give to somebody? The person you are begging to come and give you money now, he or she too has, has no heating. Please, the pres president, Bola uh, Ahmed Tinumbu, please, sir, help us to return subsidy. Help us to return, return subsidy back to, to the way it has been before. You've gotten the best in this world, sir. You have reached the peak of your career as a politician and has, as, as a man of the people. Most of the things you have, some people cannot even afford to have it. You've got, gotten the best in this world. You have, uh, you have achieved your dream even beyond. Some people cannot even afford to just dream or, or think of what they want to do in life. Is it not what you think about that you work towards achieving? Some people cannot even reason. They can't think. If you ask some people now, what do you want to do? They don't know because they cannot think. Help us to tag the targetables. People are suffering. There is no fuel, there is no light to work. And when you want to go and buy fuel, fuel is expensive. Things are getting expensive. The aged people, those ones that are on pension, they, they want to buy drug, no money to buy drug. Their children, no, their salary is not even enough to feed, rather than not to talk of giving one grandpa or grandma money to go and buy fuel uh, or, and buy drug. Who will be happy seeing is, is aged people in, in, in pain? The, 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 the thing that will concern everybody, that every citizen will be affected, affected is fuel. Help us to return our subsidies, Mr. President. Help us to return our subsidy. Let us buy our fuel the way it has been. We don't even want to talk about the security, the 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 the, 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 the uh, security, uh, uh, you know, condition of the country. That one is another topic entirely. At least let us breathe first. Let us stay alive before we start talking of all other things. People are no more safe, even in their own home. Help us to return our subsidy. And let prices of things at least let let it go down. Let people be able to afford their little, you know, uh, you know, food and source of livelihood. You understand? 
help us and tag the targetables. And those that are in charge of economy, we understand that the president cannot do it alone. He has people. So people in charge of this economy, help us to tag them. We cannot continue like this now. At least one thing should, should have been fixed. The, the smallest thing should have been fixed. Because some people will come and say, when did he come to office? Why can't you be patient? Excuse me, was this not that we were patient for eight years, the, the past regime? Uh -uh. The Aousa people will say that the Saturday that will be good. It is from Friday that we are going to know about it. So for how long are we going to sit down and continue when people, are, people cannot eat? You want to transport yourself from this place to this place. Bike people will tell you that it's 500 naira. The work you want to go and do, the, the, the daily pay is, is, is 1,000 or 1,002. You will transport yourself, go and come, is 1,000. So the, the remaining 200 now, will that one be enough to feed you and your family? And you are saying we should keep quiet. If you don't mind your comments, mind yourself at the comment section. I will, I will come and do part two for you. So please help us tag the targetables. Help, help Mr. President to help us return our subsidy. Yes. Because the subsidy that was removed was meant for the building of refinery. The refinery has not been built. We have not seen that they have started the foundation of, of building the refinery. So what is now the essence? Help us return our subsidy. People are suffering. People are suffering. No, people are dying. Aged people, the, the senior citizens that they have served the country for 35 years, their pension is not even enough to buy their drug, not to talk of food. You understand? So help us return our subsidy. And let everything go back to normal. At least if we cannot buy car, we cannot build us. At least we should be able to eat now. Uh, the fundamental human right, the right to live. We all, we all have the right to live in our country. Thank you, guys.